Well, the Senate passed the Respect for Marriage Act, sending the piece of legislation to the House. Nine on your side's Faith Abercrombie breaks down how this bill will be affecting millions of people here in the U.S. The Respect for Marriage Act wouldn't require all states to issue marriage licenses to same sex or interracial couples. But if a Supreme Court case like a Burgerfell v. Hodges was to be overturned, these marriages would have to be recognized in any state. A lot of people were nervous earlier this summer when one Supreme Court justice kind of hinted that the decisions um, made by prior Supreme Courts could be overturned or questioned. Two of those people with concerns were Blake and Matt Cuello. They got married in 2019 and questioned if there was no law of the land for same-sex or interracial couples, what would happen to their marriage? There's the legal side of it all and like, you know, um, all of that that comes into play with, you know, denying people's legal marriages, but then there's also like the emotional part of it. In a vote of 61 to 36, the Respect for Marriage Act was passed by the Senate with bipartisan support. By repealing the Defense of Marriage Act, we're simply saying that marriages are the same, that everyone has the same kind of marriage and that no matter what state you move to after you're married, you should be able to have access to a fair legal system in that state. The Cuellos say the bill passing through the Senate gives them a sigh of relief, but there's still work to be done to not only protect marriage rights, but for the LGBTQ community. It's not enough to, to not make it the law of the land because this limbo is, is just another bridge for a really bad event to happen or something worse. Although the bill protects all existing same-sex and interracial marriages, it wouldn't require every state to marry these couples. Saying that gay marriage, uh, you know, interracial marriage, uh, they are the law of the land and they always will be, um, and that is not necessarily what this bill is saying, but it's a start. The Respect for Marriage Act is expected to be passed by the House next week. After that, it'll be handed off to the president to sign. In the studio, Faith Abercrombie, KGUN 9, on your side.